Today's topic is hip bursitis. Hip bursitis is the inflammation of the bursa located at the hips. Bursa are small, fluid sacs found near joints. They function as a gliding surface, allowing muscles and tendons to move smoothly over bone and other structures to reduce friction. Each hip has two major bursae, the tronchanteric bursa, located at the outside point of the hip bone, referred to as the greater truncator, and the iliopsoas bursa, located on the inside of the hip area. Inflammation of the tronchanteric bursa is called tronchanteric bursitis. When the iliopsoas becomes inflamed, it is called iliopsoas bursitis. Hip bursitis most often involves the tronchanteric bursa, although the iliopsoas bursa can also become inflamed. Causes The major cause of hip bursitis is local soft tissue trauma or strain injury. This may result from bumping the hip into an object, lying on one side of the body for an extended period, repetitive use or overuse from activities, including climbing, standing for a long time, running. Physically active people and athletes, including runners, swimmers, skiers, are at more risk. Incorrect posture. This can be caused by scoliosis, arthritis of the lower spine, and other spine problems. Abnormally positioned joint or bone, such as leg length difference or arthritis in a joint. Previous surgery. Chronic conditions, including rheumatoid arthritis, thyroid disease, gout, or an unusual drug reaction. Bone spurs or calcium deposits. Obesity. In rare cases, it may result from an infection. Symptoms. Trochanteric bursitis usually causes the following symptoms. Pain and tenderness of the outer hip and thigh or in the buttock. Burning pain that is often made worse with excessive walking, exercise, or stair climbing. Pain when lying on the affected side. Iliopsoas bursitis usually causes the following symptoms pain and tenderness in the front of the hip that may radiate down the leg or towards the buttock, morning stiffness, often the stiffness will subside throughout the day, pain when exercising, walking up and down the stairs, standing up from a sitting position, or extending one or both legs. Diagnosis and Treatment To make a diagnosis, the doctor will perform a comprehensive physical examination looking for tenderness in the area of the hip pain. To rule out other possible injuries or conditions, such as arthritis, the doctor will perform additional tests. These tests include imaging studies, such as bone scanning, MRI, or x-rays. Treatment Treatment options may be surgical or non-surgical. The initial treatment option is non-surgical. Non-surgical treatment may include avoiding the activities that worsen symptoms. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, including ibuprofen, naproxen, to relieve pain and control inflammation. Assistive devices, such as walking cane or crutches. Physical therapy exercises to help increase the range of motion and strengthen the muscles around the hip. A steroid injection may also be helpful in relieving pain. Losing weight. If non-surgical treatment does not help with pain and inflammation, surgery may be needed. The doctor may recommend surgical removal of the bursa. Removing the bursa does not hurt the hip, and the hip can function normally without it. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.